hello friends so today i am going to discuss a very another very important aspect that from which note should we start a song uh, like we people play the bollywood songs and all the songs they are based upon any raga so from which note should we start the song so that there are no slider movement so according to indian classical theory we all know that there are 12 notes seven shuddh swars four komal swars and one tivra swar and according to the bhatkhande thaat padati all the ragas in indian classical music they are categorized into 10 main thaats so basically all the ragas they fall into any one of those 10 thaats so out of those 10 thaats these are the six thaats which by selecting any particular note if any song or any raga falls within these six thoughts then by just selecting the sa of that particular song you can choose a scale on c harmonica so that there are no slider movements like we all know that bilawal thought all the ragas falling in the bilawal thought because bilawal is a basically it contains all the shuddh swars so if you play it from c note by taking c as sa so there will be no slider movement so all the songs based upon a rag which falls on bilawal thought if you start it from c note there will be no slider movement similarly all the ragas that fall in kalyan thought now in kalyan thought all the ragas based upon kalyan thought ma is tivra sa re ga ma ma is tivra note and all the other notes they are shuddh swar so all the ragas all the songs based upon the kalyan thought if you start them from f note then you can play it just uh, without any slider movement now same as the case with khamaj thaat you can start it from g note bhairavi which is a uh, thaat having four flat re ga dhani re ga dhani they are the flat notes so if you start it from e note there will be no slider movement similarly asavri and kafi you start it from a and d by taking a and d as the sa of that particular song there will be no slider movement now out of the seven shuddh swars six swars i have already discussed we are remaining with the seventh white key or shuddh swar that is b note so as of now you cannot have any raga by taking b as sa and playing all the white keys so there is a reason for that because if you take b as sa of any raga or of any thought then the pa will fall on f sharp so f sharp is a black key so for playing pa you have to press the slide so pa is a compulsory note in almost all the ragas with uh, very few exceptions so that's why b is excluded from this category so these seven notes they are occupied here so apart from that apart from these six thoughts if a rag falls in the remaining four thoughts the remaining four thoughts are bhairav purvi marwa and tobi so if you are playing any song based upon these four thoughts you have to press slider so there is no other option so in case of these six thoughts you can just choose the starting note or sa so second case is in case of bhairavi bhairav and purvi there is a c d e sa re ga re is komal in this case in both the cases so shuddh sa komal re shuddh ga shuddh shuddh sa komal re shuddh ga so this these particular three notes you can never play on your harmonica without pressing the slider so that is another reason Uh, for the use of slider in case of these two particular thoughts so i will be taking one very simple example uh, all the songs based upon rag shivranjni shivranjni falls in kafi thought so if i start from d there will be no slider movement so i will be playing a very uh, simple song which i have already played jaane kahan gaye wo din i will be starting it from d because it falls in kafi thought so here it goes this is d note so 
you have seen that I have started it from D note, did not press slider. So if you know, uh, if you want to play any song, you just search it from the Google, the rag of that song. Once you know the raga, then you search about the thought. And if incidentally that thought falls within this th these six thoughts, so your problem is solved. You, you, you can choose the correct starting note so that there is no slider movement. So I hope uh, I am able to make my point clear. I have I tried to make the things easy for you people. So that's all for now. So I will be coming with my next video very soon. Thank you.